Hi everyone, Leanne from Jada Blossom and it is time for our August mini release hop. Hey, so I am using today a bunch of stuff, but I'm using our gnome dies, the Thanksgiving add-ons, our girl gnome dies, our gnome dies, our tree stump die, our gnome dies with the candy charms add-ons, our fall candies grid style stamp set, our fancy topper die, our rick rock rack topper die, our mushroom dies, along with our gnome dies fall add-ons, and our scallop caddy die. I'm also using Doodlebug's uh, pumpkin spice odds and ends, along with their happy harvest six inch pad, their fall friends six inch pad, along with their pumpkin spice six inch pad, their flea market, um, but in the 12 inch size, and their rainbow petite prints in gingham linen. So first I'm going to, I'm creating three cards for you today. And um, I started out with a piece of paper tray ink, dark chocolate cardstock, 4.25 by 11 inches, squared at five and a half inches to make a vertical, um, vertical card. Then I went ahead and I cut um, the pattern paper one eighth of an inch smaller than that. Then I went ahead and you'll see that I cut out the scallop topper die. I cut off the one side and then the layer die, I actually moved it down so I could make it a little longer to cover the front of the card. And that's in dark chocolate. And then that cloud pattern paper is from the 12 inch uh, flea market um, paper line from Doodlebug. So there we go. So I'm going to add that to my card base. So lots of layers, adding that to my card base with my ATG tape. All my die cutting today was done again with my Gemini machine. So there we go. And then I went ahead and I cut the bottom of that layer out with this dot stripe um, from, from Doodlebug and Rainbow Petite Prints. And then I used the mushroom dies, that grass hill, and I cut the top of it again with that, just so it would fit into this um, background of brown cardstock that I have there. There we go. And then I'll be adding that to the bottom of that card. So. What I'm doing is I'm using um, like a treat die for a card. So now I'm adding the tree stump die. I put this together on our last um, release and review using American Crafts cardstock and some Doodlebug uh, dot stripe. So there we go. I'm going to stick that down. I'll weigh it, da weigh it down with my, <coughs> excuse me, with my acrylic block. Now I'm going to add my little gnome um, my little gnome turkey that I put together on my release and review. So watch that if you'd like me, um, if you'd like to see me put that together. There we go. Everything will be listed on my blog that I used today. Now I'm using this, um, this is the fall, or the add-ons, the gnome dies fall add-ons, that little pumpkin. There we go. And I'm gonna add that, isn't that cute? And now I'm going to add in my sentiment that is from that, um, that Ooh, the candy grid stamp set, um, fall candies. And I'm just going to pop that up now. I use the gnome dies, the, the what is it? The candy add-ons, whatever it's called, um, for those two little sentiments. So now I'm going to add some strips of paper to the inside. This is just from that pumpkin um, spice six inch pad. I just used that border. There we go. Now I'm going to add my sentiment. Um, that is from the Gobble Up, or what's it called? Gobble Up Nomi stamp set that's brand new from Jada Blossom. And I put it onto Nina Desert Storm 80 pound cardstock stamped with First Fine Claire Nocturne ink. And then I cut it out with our mini tag dies three. And I'm just going to add in some odds and ends. That's that little pumpkin from uh, the pumpkin spice line from Doodlebug. I'm just gonna add a few little highlights with my secure white jelly roll pen. Now I'm gonna start on my second card. Um, this paper, I can't tell you where it's from. It's from one of those pads. The same thing though, cut an eighth of an inch smaller than an A2 size card. That is paper tray ink craft cardstock this time. So it's kind of cute, right? It's like a harvest. Maybe it's probably from that happy harvest uh, six inch pad from Doodlebug, if, if I'm honest. There we go. And then I'm using our fancy topper die. I cut that out of um, rainbow petite prints from um, Doodlebug, that's the gingham side. And I'm adding that to the center. So remember all of our treats can be used on, front, on the front of cards. 
That's what I was going for on this release. Now this is also an, an inch strip from one of those, I, I can't remember if that's from the Happy, Happy Harvest of the Fall Friends, but it's just an inch of um, an inch strip of paper from that pad. Now I'm going to add in this little um, die cut from the Odds and Ends Pumpkin Spiced from Doodlebug. And it's got little corn on it, which is perfect, right? And then I'm going to add in the sentiment that's from that same brand new Gobble Up Nomi stamp set. And I did use our mini tag dies three to cut it out. Isn't that cute? So have an amazing Thanksgiving, right? Now I've got my little, um, the little um, scarecrow was from our last release. It's the fall gnome add-ons, but then the little corn is from the Thanksgiving fall add-ons for the gnomes. So there we go. So I cut out the layer for the fancy, um, for the fancy topper with this blue gingham from that rainbow petite prints again. So that's gonna kind of be like my sky. There we go. And I gotta get it straight, it's gonna drive me crazy. Now that gnome I put together, that, that adorable little scarecrow gnome, I put that together in our last review, release and review video. I just thought it would be cute to have a little scarecrow holding the corn. So now I'm gonna pop this guy up with some Stampin' Up Dimensionals. I'm gonna pop him in the middle of my little card. So he's so cute, he's holding his little corn, right? Isn't that cute? And then I'm using um, Doodlebug's um, Petite Prints. That's that, the yellow scallop, and then the little candy. That is that um, Fall Candies grid style stamp set again. And I'm just gonna layer that back layer up a couple times because you know, gingham linen, it's not super um, thick, so I don't want it to, you know, get bent or anything in the mail. There we go. And then I'm going to pop that up. It says Happy Harvest. Um, I'm using Art Glitter Glue today, like normal, and my Stampin' Up Dimensional. So I'm going to pop that on using my reverse tweezers. It just says Happy Harvest, which is kind of cute with the background paper, right? That's it's like a harvest and, you know, your little scarecrow. So now I'm going to pop up these little hearts. That is from the um, Doodlebug Pumpkin Spice Odds and Ends Pack too. It's great. They come with all these little, um, you know, little die cuts that are just amazing for making cards and, and, you know, adding a little bit of embellishment to cards. And I chose yellow just because, you know, the corn and all that. But isn't that cute? I just think it turned out great. And now I'm going to add a few little highlights using my Secure White Jelly Roll, jelly roll Pen. And like I said, everything will be listed on my blog that I use to make these little critters. I always use P13's um, Skin Tones pad. I got it from scrapbooking.com for their little, you know, flesh pieces on my little gnomes. So now I'm adding a few more little highlights to the corn on the inside this time. So I just think this is super cute. So have an amazing Thanksgiving, right? How cute is that? Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the next one. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. A2 size vertical card, cut my paper one eighth of an inch smaller. There we go. And this paper has little pilgrims all over it, which is perfect for my pilgrim gnome, which I did put together on my release and review video. Now this, this little topper is the Rick Rock Rack topper. And I cut that out of paper tray and craft cardstock, just like my card base. Here we go. I'm gonna, going to apply it to my card with my ATG tape. And then I went ahead and I cut out two of the layers with the gingham linen in this black or in the black gingham. And I'm just going to apply that to the card front. And then I'll be using my gnome to strategically cover um, the little crack in that. See, he's gonna cover it perfectly. So it'll look like it's all one piece. And like I said, again, using our little, you know, candy, candy treat toppers or whatever, you, you know, treat, treat toppers and treat dies on cards to make little, you know, card backgrounds. It's a good way to use your, you know, treat toppers. And it's good to have a treat topper in case you wanna make a treat, right? So now I'm going to pop up the little pie, or no, sorry, he's holding the little turkey leg, the little turkey leg that he's holding. Isn't that cute? And then I will pop up, or no, actually, I'm gonna stick him down flat. I'll stick him down with some ATG tape. So I'm going to pop that gnome onto um, that little, you know, 
the little score, the, the, part, the part that you score for the topper. I'm stumbling over my words today. There we go. So kind of cute, right? I'm using that same Fall Candies grid style stamp set along with the um, Gnome Dyes, the can scallop can uh, Gnome Dyes candy add-ons. I keep forgetting the name of that. There we go. Consider how much I use it, I should know it, right? Isn't that cute? So gobble till you wobble, right? That's perfect. Now I'm going to put a strip of paper on the inside again. And like I said, that it's all from those doodle bug pads that I mentioned. There we go. I think that's like one and a half inches. But I usually use whatever's left over and just, you know, and I'll, I'll make some strips on the inside, which is kind of fun, right? Now that sentiment is from that um, Gobble Up Know Me stamp set. And I cut it out with our mini tag dies three again. I'll add a little... Um, die cut here that's from that doodle bug pumpkin spice odds and ends set again and then i'll be sticking down my sentiment thankful and grateful there we go isn't that cute so now i'm going to add um Alta news um enamel dots they're the essential black and white and i'm going to just add some white enamel dots to these two just to add a little bit of something something right There we go. When I find when you're working with a busy pattern, you want to ground your image with something that's not so busy um, behind it. And that way, you know, it kind of draws your eye to the, your little die cut that you work so hard on, right? So I just think that's kind of easy to do it that way. I'm just going to use my pen blade to get them off that acetate. And I'll add a few little highlights with my Secure White Jelly Roll pen, because that always makes things, you know, a little more special. And like I said, all the paper that I use to create all these little gnomes will be listed on my blog. So cute. I just think this pilgrim is, a, is adorable. Perfect for Thanksgiving. Perfect to send out some Thanksgiving cards to your friends and family. Isn't that cute? Oh, just adorable. I'm going to do the same to this one. I'll add a few white ones. Now I could have pulled out my, you know, my Nouveau Crystal Drops and Simply White. But you know, I've got a whole package of these to use up and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna use these for my little white embellishments this time. And then I don't have to wait for them to dry, right? There we go. I just think this little guy holding the corn is adorable. I did put little dots um, of Copic marker on that pattern paper to make it look like that was maize that he's holding. So it's just kind of fun, right? So I'm gonna add a few little highlights to these hearts just to, you know, make them look a little bit, you know, make them stand out a little bit more. And that's about it. Um, remember to go over to the Jada Blossom blog. You're going to want to be inspired by the whole team. There's a hop going on. Start over at the Jada Blossom blog, like I said, and make sure to comment all along your way because one person will win a free stamp set of their choice, which is always fun. And you can remember to go and, you know, hop on over to the Jada Blossom store and get your hot little hands on these awesome products and um, you know if you get if you order something tag us on social media open your stuff you know live we would love to see your projects tag us on Facebook and um, you know Instagram and and all the interesting places on the web we'd love to see it thank you so much for stopping by and we will see you soon in my next one bye everyone